Paranormal videos as a genre on YouTube is pretty interesting to me. One, because I usually believe or at least entertain the thought of pretty much anything that I'm told. Not to the level of, say, a flat earther, but I'm pretty open-minded about stuff. I mean, for the longest time I thought babies came from storks. It was only up until recently that I actually found out it's from pissing into women. Of course, that's not the only reason they're fascinating, because it also shows just how much other people will believe from a really, really, really bad video. Number 16. This live interview was taken somewhere in South America, only when the footage was later zoomed in and enhanced were they able to discover something strange in the background. What looks to be some sort of extraterrestrial creature with arms that are as long as its legs can be seen casually walking towards them. Its motives are unknown, but it does not appear to be alarmed or threatening. Well, I'd say its motives are to spread fear and ignorance, given that it's so very clearly fake. And while I'd like to get a better look at it, you seem to have not included it in the sources, which you linked off-site, and then put them in the wrong order. Nice going. Number 15. A group of forest rangers set up a camera at the Platte River State Fish Hatchery in Michigan to livestream a nest of baby bald eagles mature. They were never intending to accidentally capture a second, much larger creature instead during the live feed. A giant humanoid figure covered in what appears to be black fur prowls around the forest floor below. It doesn't look like any other native forest animal, as it clearly stands upright and swings its arms while walking. Maybe it's a person in a full body suit, or maybe it's an actual Bigfoot. Then again, since numerous other Bigfoot sightings have been reported in the state over the years, it could very well be legit. Now, since this time you actually sourced the video, I was able to find out why you may think this clip would actually be real. I mean, the channel mostly does non-Bigfoot related content, so now that they're actually doing something Bigfoot related, it's much more likely to be real. But to say that this is definitive evidence is just dishonest. I mean, even many people who believe Bigfoot is real, like Jeff Meldrum, say that this is nothing more than an interesting video. And another thing that most people are pointing out is the way it jumps off the log here seems pretty unnatural. Number 14. This aerial footage was broadcast live during a period of bad weather in Hebron, Ohio. Take a look at this flooded neighborhood and tell me if you see anything abnormal lurking in the dirty brown water from the way it's moving in the water. I wouldn't be surprised if the floodwaters caused some sort of giant parasite to emerge from the sewers below. Well, hey, another unsourced video. Okay, well technically you did give a source, but it wasn't in the description, so I had to go search for myself. Anyway, I don't see how this has to be some form of mysterious creature, it just looks like a bin bag being pushed down the river with a current. Which makes sense, considering it looks like some form of natural disaster just happened to this place. So of course there would be lots of bins pushed over, leading many bin bags out and open. Wait, no, I, sh I, sh I shouldn't even have to explain this, this is just common sense. Number 13. This soccer match appears to be interrupted by a creature from another dimension. One team is about to go for a penalty kick when a strange white figure literally runs through everyone in the crowd without slowing down. I heard that this kind of effect could be a camera malfunction, but since everyone on the field is standing still, then I don't understand how this kind of glitch can happen. If someone has an explanation for this situation, then please let me know, because this definitely looks like it could be some sort of transparent creature to me. Well, the video is really blurry, so I'm just going to assume it's a guy in a grey shirt who's running through a pitch while everybody else is focused on the football match. Number 12. This video was streamed live during the 2014 tsunami in Japan. While this man records the rushing waters wash away his neighborhood, he sees what could be a strange creature briefly climb a building and disappear. Okay, so what's happening here is that this is just vapor from a gas tank that was ruptured because of the tsunami. I could explain it better, but there's a YouTuber called Bill's channel that did a video about it, and he explains it in complete detail. Number 11. This video was streamed live from Telemark, Norway. A YouTuber named Odin's 2 sees a gigantic disturbance in the water, so he pulls over and starts recording. This is what he sees. It starts out as a long and skinny, shimmering mass, but after a while it really starts to take form, especially in the center, possibly as the monster rises very close to the surface. Since there are no boats nearby and the water is mostly calm, 
Many people suspect that this is a famous legendary sea serpent named Seljord, which is Norwegian for Selma. It's kind of like Norway's version of the Loch Ness Monster. I guess it could just be fishing nets or a long string of garbage instead, but it's hard to tell for certain. Yeah, no, there's much better explanations to this than just, ha ha hey, it's a giant sea serpent. As you said, it could be garbage or a fishing net, it could be lots of fish gathering around in an area, it could be a trick of light, and it could even be lots of wind in that area. And it could probably be a lot of other things, but just jumping to, hey, hey it was the giant sea serpent that did it, <laughs> it's just lazy. Number 10. The Myrtles Plantation in Louisiana has been named one of the most haunted places in America. As Vanessa Bolano was doing a news report on ABC, something strange flies past her in the background. This small white specter moves extremely fast. No, 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 no. No, I won't even bother watching the rest. You said specter. You could have said lots of other things at the end of spec. Speck of dust. Speck of dirt. But... To say it's a spectre is just needlessly calling for the paranormal. And doesn't appear to be a piece of dust or any kind of light reflection. What? In which way does it not look like a speck of dust? Because it has holes that somewhat resemble eyes and a mouth? Please tell me that's not the reason. Please. Number 9. A local journalist is covering the wintry weather in Springfield, Massachusetts, when a much more interesting story pops up behind her. The creature looks slow and powerful as it lumbers towards them. Bad weather or not, I find it hard to believe that a monster would just walk around a busy town without some sort of immediate police response. It doesn't look like computer-generated effects, so this was likely just a person in a costume. Wait, then why did you include it in the list if you think it's fake? Number 8. A YouTuber named Jay Katera lives outside of an Air Force base somewhere in the southeast Michigan. He has been seeing some strange things in the sky lately, so he decides to point his security camera straight up in livestream. Not too long after, he captures this strange sighting. Jay Katera isn't sure if this is an alien UFO, a secret government project, or some sort of paranormal orb, but he is sure that it was scanning the ground as if it was looking for something. While by the literal sense of the word it is an unidentified flying object, there's no reason to believe this is a mysterious creature, again, because it could just as easily be a drone with LEDs attached to it. Number 7. A YouTuber named Ariette Jane is live streaming a road trip when suddenly an unidentified creature bursts through the traffic, nearly causing a wreck. Here we are. There San Diego Freeway Diego. coming up. Boom. We are there. Awesome. Whoa. Dude! What the hell was that? It wasn't on, he wasn't on a motorcycle. Whoa. That was really, really really bad. The speeding object leaves a short trail of fire behind, almost like it has a turbocharger of some sort, yet it's going way too fast to be an ordinary vehicle. My guess is this is computer generated special effects, but if that is the case, then I don't know how he got the cars to slow down all at once to make this shot look so realistic. Maybe there was traffic ahead or something and he edited this creature in later. This is a pretty obvious reference to the flash. Number 6. One quiet day in a New Jersey residential neighborhood, a humanoid bear-like creature was spotted rummaging around multiple people's yards. It looks like any other bear except that it walked on two legs like a normal human. Experts have ruled out a person wearing a bear suit, so the only reasonable explanation is that the bear somehow damaged its front paws and had to walk on its hind legs to avoid discomfort. Even if that were so, however, I think that a bear would have a lot of difficulty trying to walk upright for long distances. The supposed bear appears to be able to do it with no problem, so I'm not sure that's the real reason why. Okay, this is a bear. Everybody agrees that this is a bear. Bears stand upright to see and smell better. That's the reason why it's walking like that. Also, bears can walk for long distances on their feet. I don't know what you're talking about. Number 5. This live dash cam video was taken somewhere in Russia. It looks like a normal drive when suddenly an enraged creature changes all of that. So the road splitting open doesn't look like CGI to me, which means it's either real or part of a movie set. This next part, however, looks like it could be CGI.
Oh, oh, yeah, no, just, just kind of fake. Not, not really fake, just kind of fake. This looks fine apart from that. Just kidding, you're an idiot. Why would you even include this when you know it's not real? Number four. Two friends are live streaming in a San Francisco subway tunnel for no reason in particular when they randomly run across something they were never meant to see. A trail of red leads them around a dumpster where they find a distressed woman who is either a victim of her own madness or else something far more sinister. The woman herself is covered in red as she twists and screams on the subway floor. The two friends are talking about how they can help this poor creature, or if she can even be helped, when suddenly she lets out a shriek and comes flying towards them. It's hard to tell whether she is a possessed creature or just delusional, or simply participating in a very realistic prank. I'm not sure what happened to them next, or if the two friends made it out alive. Okay, so this video I can't see because it's age restricted, but... But why why don't you just like look at the description? It, it it says film and animation. Gee golly, I wonder why it might say that. Okay, too late. I'm answering. The reason is because this was actually entered into a found footage contest for a movie called Hellbenders. Number three, a live broadcast in Detroit, Michigan, captures a bouncing creature in the forest background. I thought that it might be some kind of fox hopping through the grass, but this humanoid creature almost looks like it's running back into the forest away from sight. Let me know what kind of animal you think this could be. No, it doesn't look humanoid at all. I'm pretty sure it's just a wolf or a coyote moving. Especially if you live in Detroit and tell me if this is what it looks like when a fox is traveling through tall grass, because that's my best guess. Number two, this live broadcast captures what appears to be an impossible error on camera. Watch the news anchor on the left and see what happens. Here it is again in slow motion in case you missed it. Everything from a hologram to an alien has been proposed, but I guess it could be some kind of camera malfunction. Do I... Do I even need to say? He pretty much said it already. Whatever. Maybe someone who knows more about cameras can let me know if this is a technical malfunction or not. Number 1. What looks like a routine traffic stop suddenly becomes extraterrestrial within the blink of an eye. A police officer asks for a license and registration when things take an unexpected turn. The police officer looks normal up to this point, but then he makes a slight moan and hunches over. Anyway, so I've just about stopped caring. Thanks, Jar, for letting me be on the channel. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel because it's really small and it would really help. Okay, I'm done. Bye.